Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Ghost Spectre 11 and what is the least amount of RAM that can run on. Ghost Spectre 11 is a super light supposed version of Windows 11. My personal um, opinion is that Tiny 11 is the best smaller Windows operating system. It is lightweight, doesn't come with any unnecessary bloat like all this. But of course, many people in the community still like Ghost Spectre 11. So we're going to take a look at what is the least amount of RAM that we can successfully get this to run on. So right now, we have this virtual machine set at exactly one gigabyte of RAM. And what we do, if you've never seen this series before on my channel, we're going to slowly decrease the amount of RAM that this machine has until it just refuses to boot. So we're obviously not going to cut it straight in half first. We're going to go 768. Um, for some reason, I have that number in my head. And I feel like that might actually be the minimum for, like the actual, quote, minimum for Tiny 11. I know that we were able to get Tiny 11 to run on, I think, 200 and something megabytes of RAM. Um, in this VM, I did not install VMware Tools, just for the fact that VMware Tools adds additional bloat to the system that could possibly make it not start up. So I just want to see, you know, there's a clean install of Ghost Spectre 11. How, how is it going to work? And here we are in Ghost Spectre 11. Take a look at the performance here. We are using, you know, 96% of the RAM just after booting up. Not bad, but I feel like we can do better. And I accidentally just hit that button. I meant to shut the machine down, not suspend it. Let's try that again. Let's take this down to 600 megabytes of RAM and let's see what that does. In Ghost Spectre 11 on 600 megs of RAM, 507 off 599, actually using less RAM on this configuration than we were with the 768 meg configuration. Let's go 512. That's half of a gig, so that's half of where we originally started from. Also, if you've never seen this series before, sometimes taking this down in small amounts actually helps. If we were to jump from a gig down to 200 megs, it probably wouldn't work. But if we slowly go from like 512 to 444, we, we, we slowly take it down, that sometimes actually does have an effect on whether or not, you know, the VM actually boots. I'm not sure what exactly is going on here. Uh, VMware appears to be having some problems right now. So this is interesting. We booted on 512 megs of RAM and we're getting an unknown hard error that just caused Explorer to restart. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's shut this down. That actually did take quite a while to boot. VMware doesn't really like this for some reason. Uh, we're going to take this down straight to 400 just because I believe that we can. Uh, let's see what this does. I don't know why. VMware likes to take more time with that. It's weird. It's never done that to me before. All right, and we are in on 400 megs. Just because Explorer is taking so long to load, I'm not going to take the time to open Task Manager because that just that would take way too long to wait for that to load. So we're going to try 344 and see what this does. It does not like 344 megs. Wow. This Ghost Spectre Ultra Light, Super Light, whatever this is, isn't really being that light. Tiny 11 performed much, much better. Let's try 364, see what this does. All right, this booted on 364 megs of RAM. Let's see if we can do better. Let's go 350, let's see. 356. We are going to go ahead and try again. Uh, like I said, sometimes taking it down in smaller amounts does actually help. Uh, we're going to try 348, which is above 344, which is what it failed on. The only thing left to try is 352, which is not as good as I would have expected. Um, this is actually kind of a disappointment, but not. I'm not really that surprised. Just because, you know, Ghost Spectre 11 is not as clean as some of the other tiny operating systems we've taken a look at. Um, it's actually kind of disappointing. So, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. Definitely a cool experiment to take a look at. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.